Hi, this is Paul from Music, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to create and use live scores, and I will tell you a bit more about the artificial intelligence technology behind live scores, which we call Maestria. So, first of all, what are live scores? Live scores are interactive scores that combine the benefits of PDF, Music XML, and MIDI all at once. Live scores offer an entirely new music reading experience with a multi-sensorial approach that will help you get familiar with new pieces quicker, imp improve your sight reading skills, and develop audiation, which is the ability to hear the music as you read it. So not only can you read a live scores, but you can also listen to it. You can change its tempo, you can transpose it, you can even change the instruments that are playing. What's more, live scores are compatible with music, of course, but you can also use them with your notation software or your DAW. You can use the music XML layer of a live score in MuseScore, Sibelius, Finale, Dorico, Flat, Note Flight, any notation software basically in order to change a note, to transpose a specific line, or to correct a mistake. And since they also have MIDI information, live scores can be used in your DAW for audio rendering and editing. Sounds interesting, right? So let's see how to create a live, a live score in Music Web. So that's probably the most interesting thing about live scores. You don't have to buy them at all. Uh, the way to get live scores is by converting a paper or PDF score that you already own into a live score with Music Web. Converting to live scores is currently reserved to Music Pro and Music Education subscribers who can convert up to 50 pages each month. But if you're not a subscriber yet, click on the link in the description to start a seven days free trial. So if you use a paper score, uh, you should really get the music app on your, on your iPhone and take advantage of the amazing camera that you have on this device uh, to use the built-in scanner in the music app and capture a detailed scan of your paper score. The better the scan, the better the end result. If you already have a PDF, then you just need to upload it to your music library from the app or from Music Web. If you don't know how to do this, check out the dedicated video of this series on how to upload scores into Music Web. Okay, so once you are inside your piece in Music Web, you will see the live score button next to the name of your part in the action panel. Click on this button to start the conversion process. Converting to live scores takes time, about a couple minutes per page, but it depends on a lot of factors, like the number of pages you're converting, the number of instruments in the score, the general complexity of the music, etc. So while we wait, let me tell you a bit more about the technology behind live scores, which we call Maestria. It's the first optical music recognition technology that's based on artificial intelligence and deep learning, which yields unprecedented accuracy in the results. Basically, we taught music to an artificial intelligence so she could understand the musical semantic of any score and recreate a digital version of it. Sounds magical in a way, but it really isn't. It's actually top-notch science uh, that's based on previous technology and research by companies like Google and Facebook, uh, so it's pretty rock solid. Developing Maestria took us and a team of AI researchers from France over two and a half years, and the training of this artificial intelligence was very intense. We needed over 100,000 scores uh, to teach her music, basically. So we ended up creating a random score generator just for that. Check out this interview I did with AI researcher Marie Schupo, who was leading the team of scientists working on Maestria, if you want to learn more about um, how this technology was built. Okay, back to our live score. First, let me show you the live score dashboard in Music Web. In this dashboard, you can monitor the status of your current conversions. You can quickly access any score you previously converted, and you can also check how many credits you have left for the current month. Okay, so once in your live score, the first thing that you will see is that uh, the layout and typeset are exactly the same as the original score that you converted. We keep the same PDF layout so you can still use it with the, the editions that you are familiar with. However, you will also see a new MIDI file that's been added to your score. Click on it to start playing the music and enjoy the results of Maestria's work.
this MIDI file can be manipulated using the MIDI mixer. Click on the little button at the top right corner of each instrument channel to see all the options. You can make your balance with volume and panning, you can add reverb, you can transpose a specific track, etc. You can also change the instrument that's playing. Let's uh, get an electric, an electric piano just for fun. We will soon add other features to live scores. For example, uh, a scrolling bar that indicates where you are in the score, as well as automatic page turns, so stay tuned for that. One important thing, Maestria is a deep learning engine, which means that it learns from its mistakes. So in order to improve it even further, we need your help. When using live scores and listening to the MIDI that Maestria generates, Please rate the quality of the conversion and if, uh, if there was any issue, please leave a comment to tell us what went wrong so we can fix it. Finally, to export live scores out of music, click on the download button next to the name of your part to download the music XML layer of your live score and open it in your notation software for additional editing. If you'd like to rearrange an existing piece and you have the score with you, this makes the process so much easier and faster. So just go and try this out. Same goes actually for audio rendering and editing in your DAW. You can download the MIDI information of your live score by clicking on the download button next to uh, the MIDI file in the media section. And then you can open this in your DAW or any other software to use with your own sound banks, for example. So, um, you heard this Nocturne by Chopin played uh, by the Music Web Embedded Some Fund before, uh, but let's see how it goes this time with the Noir Piano Library by Native Instruments. Much better indeed. Before I leave you, a quick note on Maestria and copyright. Uh, first off, if it's personal use and you own the music that you transform with Maestria, then there's no question uh, to be asked. If it's professional use, however, you need to make sure that you have the right to uh, use the outputs of Maestria um, and you can check this out with your music publisher. Um, there's a complete article on copyright and digital sheet music available on our knowledge base. Uh, the link is in the description of the video. Now that you know everything about live scores, uh, just go and try it with your own scores and enjoy this whole new music reading experience that they provide. I leave you with this piano piece. Have a nice day and see you in another video. Bye. Mm -hmm.